Hello! Now we're going to take a look at how we can work with Cross and Capture. In this design that I've used before, you can see that there is already a piece of Cross floating above stage. But I want to show you how to add new Cross into your design. This is done from the Library tab and the Cross category. Here we can see a list of various Cross manufacturers, as well as a handy search and filtering tool. So let's locate an H30V rectangular section from ProLite. I'm going to drag and drop that into the design and show you that as we insert a new object from the library, a fifth button appears under the selection. This one lets us open an insertion point dialog where we can enter the intended height of the new items. So let's enter 5 meter and click apply and remember. Now when I add more pieces from the library, these will also be inserted at a 5 meter height. Cross items can be snapped together by dragging them close to each other. They also snap immediately when they are inserted from the library, as well as if you use the quick copy tool with the drag and drop button. The library also contains other types of truss pieces, such as corners, so let's take a look at that. Let's change the filter from section to corner. And now we can find things like a two-way corner and drag and drop that into the design and snap it to the existing truss pieces. So this is how you would go about and build your truss construction in Capture. But I do want to point out that there is a difference between the brand trusses and the generic truss. The generic truss lives under the generic um, section, which is here. And the difference between the generic truss and the other types of truss is that it is actually editable. This means that we can go to the truss's properties and do things like changing the length of the truss. This can be super useful in a conceptual stage where you don't yet want to care about how to use your inventory to achieve certain solutions. Once you have the truss in place in your design, you can of course drag and drop fixtures and attach them to the truss, as well as move existing fixtures to the new truss. Like this. Thanks for watching.